school, phonics was something that everyone knew. <laughs> we all know how to uh, mention the, the sounds and all of that. I think it's the only thing we learned at the time. But as we were growing, I realized that no, no child is even bothered about that. They don't even know the sounds. They, they know how to read, but they can't create from um, what they are uh, assuming they, are, uh, they come across new words. They can't create from what they have learned from phonics because they are just taught to uh, memorize the word. And then they, they can't churn out or come up with it by themselves if they, they are not familiar with the word, which was something that wasn't uh, during our time because our time we knew the sounds and we could mention the sounds and we could come up with our own words from meeting new words that we find during the reading times. So that has changed over the years because of television and technology and all of that. So uh, once the kids are growing up, they are forced to memorize words and start speaking good, uh, big English. And then we think that, yes, they are, <laughs> they are being smart, but when they are left alone, and they, they, they can't help themselves. So this is very, very good uh, initiative to go back to the ways to what learn and what read. And uh, reading has been one of the challenges we are facing in the country. And I always say, why not? When I was growing up, we only have one TV station. You program. TV starts at four with Cartoon Network. So Cartoon Network, we never miss it. And then after our four, they do some documentaries. And then at six is adult education, <laughs> and in different different languages. So if Monday is Tagani, Tuesday is uh, whether if you want to watch, then you have to watch. If you don't even understand Tagani, you have to. If once you want to watch TV, you have to watch it. <laughs> but in these days, it is not the case. Now you can change the channel. I don't even know. The channels anymore. Sometimes I come across the channels. I'm like, do we have all these channels in this country? <laughs> so things have changed, and we have to us improve reading. Our kids don't want to read anymore, especially hard books, hard copy books. Uh, those that want to read even want it electronically, and that is why I'm excited about the phonics by phone. Imagine learning phonics using phone, using technology, something that they are uh, familiar with and excited about. So I hope that you take advantage of this. One thing I've realized with teachers is that teachers don't validate their profession. You are not proud of your profession. So you see teachers and they are not proud. They, they, they can't validate what they do. And they treat it anyhow and do not improve themselves. And I just want to leave us with the verse in Colossians 3, verse 23, that whatever you do, do it with your whole heart, as though you are doing it unto God and not unto man. And if you find yourself teaching now, even though you want to be an engineer, be, be a good teacher, be the best person at your workplace. I always say that when I trace my background to what I'm doing now, I can't connect any item any item at each point from what I studied to what I did ever after school. Because what? It doesn't relate. All, it, all, it, all you need to do is what? Improve yourself. Learn, be better at what you do. If you find yourself uh, in the classroom now, be the best person that there is in the classroom. Be the best teacher you can be. Take advantage of it. Don't do it because edifies bringing it and you're not paying anything, so let's come. Some of you are here because of lunch. I've seen that in a lot of our evaluations and reviews. The lunch is good. <laughs> what did you learn? Then they write. What do you like about the conference? Then they write. The lunch, the lunch, or the venue. Don't, don't do that. Try to make use of it. We have to value our time. Because once you are spending time on it, make sure it's going to benefit you. If you are not going to find any, derive any benefit from it, don't do it. Don't waste time on it. 
But once you are in, in it and you are getting paid for it, make sure you are the best at it. You get it. So let's improve ourselves. Let's be the best we can as teachers. Let's read. I've realized that teachers do not read. It is, in fact, it is the strangest thing ever that I meet teachers and teachers don't like reading, which is strange to me. I thought with their profession they should read more, but you find teachers and they don't read. I've I've met teachers who have nice smartphones and all they, all they do is YouTube, watch YouTube videos, do WhatsApp. And you don't find them do anything related to education with their smartphones. Teaching doesn't happen only in the classroom. You have to teach yourself wherever you are. Find ways. How many of you go beyond your comfort zones to look for materials? research on the internet or even on your phone and come and teach your class. Some of you won't even buy a cardboard who were at one of the programs in Takrade with the education team. And teachers won't even buy cardboard just to help their, their students because they are not paid a certain amount. And I just want to tell you that no amount will be enough for you. <laughs> even if you are paid all the money in Ghana is so complain. <laughs> so let's make use of our time, our resources. If you have a smartphone, make use of it. Anything you have. This is not just the end. Uh, phonics by phone. There are a lot of softwares and applications out there that you can use as a teacher in your platform. So let's be better, better at what we do and make sure we all be implement it. And as we close, it is not the end. Now when you go to school, then you go and throw the, <laughs> the, the whole uh, curriculum and the phone, everything away. Because we have graduated you and given you certificates. No, this is the time that you have to show mastery so that we can invite you. Imagine we are going to the Eastern region and you have to go and do the training. Teachers would accept you, accept what you say because what you are like them. And you can what, implement some of the things you are implementing in your classroom. So look beyond just the graduation ceremony. It's not over. Try to improve and be the best at what you do. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. OK, so um, Flo now knows what PDA stands for. <laughs> It's participatory development associates, as she just said. It's a human-centered social enterprise which was established in Kumasi here in 2001. It was registered in 2001. Um, after some years, we had to relocate the head office to Accra because of the nature of our work. We do a whole lot of pieces of work in country, outside and all that. We work with the government's organizations, we work with NGOs, international organizations, and we do a lot of partnerships, basically to promote uh, development in the line of work we do. And there are two major partnerships that uh, have come our way, basically because of one of our key strategic themes. We have seven of them, and one of our key ones is education. We do a lot of work in education. So we partner a lot of organizations. And there are two key outstanding ones when it comes to uh, our discussion this morning. Some years ago, we had an encounter with uh, an organization based in the UK. They set up a Ghana uh, component in the name of Educators International. We had to do this piece of work without getting anything, basically just to support because of our belief in education. So as time went on, they had to relocate back to the UK. And it so happened they were so appreciative of the support we gave them during the process. So they decided to hand over the organization to PTA. That is how come this program was developed, the Phonics by Phone. And I'm so happy and proud to be talking about the second partnership, which is with Edify. We met Edify along the way because of this project. 
they grasped the concepts and they decided to support. So you are so lucky and you should hold it and hold it well. You know, if you don't pay for something yourself, somebody decides to spend on you, it's nice. Someone will take you out for shopping, spend on you. You will just pick pieces of everything you like. So basically, Edify has spent on you for a whole year. And you should be more than grateful to, to them. From all that you've said this morning, what you've gained is very rich knowledge. Learning at this stage in your life, by you not incurring the cost on your own, but somebody supporting you. So Edify, on behalf of the team here and those who are absent, but they are very grateful. And thanks for taking the mantle to support them. So the program had 23 schools in all. Initially there were 17 who enrolled, both in the Eastern and the Ashanti regions. I'll say something small, which is not pleasant, but it's a challenge so that the Ashanti team can take it up. From the two regions, we realized that the Eastern Region team took the program so serious. In fact, uh, when we went on Tuesday, um, Auntie Doka said something. They were a bit late. She said, I'm surprised because this is not of the Eastern. They were so passionate about how the program should, should work. We didn't get that so much from Ashanti. In as much as we are closing today, the program, as has been said earlier, is not coming to an end. So we are entreating you, and I'm challenging you, to move a step further, to even overtake Ophoridia, assuming we are to meet next time again to do an assessment. So please, don't leave here and just go and put the phones away like, Uncle said, let's just continue. If I'm teaching at something that you never receive your blessings now, till later sometime. My parents are both teachers. In fact, they were teachers. And it so happened that during the last stages of their life, I now understood why we say teachers receive their, their, their awards later in life. My father was involved in an accident. On the verge of dying, the number of doctors who came close to him, all because he thought faces are prempe. So there were so many doctors. Everybody wants to do something. So basically, uh, Uncle just said one of the key findings, and I want to mention another or two. That is the issue of girls rather picking up uh, the region. We've all done well in our various schools. Because initially, the levels were low, but at the end of the period, we assessed and realized that some schools performed so well. There were 210 classes implementing the program. Even though some didn't finish, at least majority of them, around 165 classes, finished the assessment, which I think is a plus. But it tells us that we should still try and do more. Basically, 2,000 students were enrolled, people, sorry, and we had 1,005 successes, which is also good. And it's very clear, with any new technology, you get it 100%, whereby people will just move with it. So you find it difficult for the kids moving from one tax to the other, but it's natural. But it also depends, it means that uh, we as teachers should try and support Especially now that it's very clear that the boy child is slow in reading, we need to give more attention to them as well. Not just accept the fact that Aunt Stella shared with us that they are slow in their graphs and so we leave them at that. They need more support. With your efforts, if you hadn't uh, taken the whole mantle to support the process, we wouldn't have seen what we saw. So we are still entreating you to still pull your weight don't say that the program is ended, so you even stop teaching phonics. I'm happy to know, I don't know your name, but then you've moved a step further by even trying to pass it on to other students in other schools by organizing uh, classes. So we can do that. 
there are other schools who are not under the edifying umbrella who want to enroll. Akoto will bear me out. But the cost. The fact is that some of these schools are having challenges. Not, the school fees they charge. So the turnover, staff turnover in the schools is a challenge. So if somebody has goes through this training and you decide to support other children, it's also well and good. You're also contributing to education in one way or the other. There were challenges that came our way. There's no program that won't have a challenge. Other than that, it's not natural. So naturally, there are challenges, and one of it is the turnover I mentioned. And uh, selection of teachers uh, by our schools was also a challenge. There were times that schools provided uh, people who are not even teachers. So then it's difficult to train such a person. So if there's a headmaster or headmistress here, they should just take note of these things in future. Personally, I've realized that wherever you go, if you are able to network, it helps you so much in whatever you do. We are currently doing a piece of work in uh, Kenya. In fact, we had to put up a proposal. At the end of the day, we needed, and it was mandatory that the proposal had to be presented personally. So is it because of this proposal that we don't know whether we'll win or won't win, then somebody flies all the way to Kenya to present. So one of our team members remembered, oh, when I was studying so so and so, I had a team member who was outgoing, so I'll try and connect with this person. And God was so good to us. This person took it like her project because of the networking that was established between our colleague and her wherever they met. She handed the proposal, paid up all the costs, the transportation, everything. And God has blessed us. We want the proposals. So now we have a team in Kenya carrying out the work. Basically traveling around the whole Kenya. And it's leading into something big. So it tells you that wherever you go, if you meet somebody, don't just feel that, oh, I'm in school with your name. George. George. I'm in the same school with George. So every day I'll sit by George. Every day it's only George I'll talk to. Make good use of this platform. I believe there's a platform. What's that platform? Yes. So as you meet personally, you need to engage with each other, share experiences, and then you make good use of You don't know when you need George's services. He might not stay in education for long. You move on. You move somewhere and then you are in need. And, oh, I met George. He's a, uh, somebody I used to have an edify program furnished by phone with. So I'm encouraging you, before you leave here, if you haven't done that already, try and carry with you at least three or four contacts that you'll be networking, sharing experiences. I'm teaching this bit of the uh, Phones by phone, but I'm stuck. How do you handle yours? Then you and say that we are most grateful to Edify for partnering us in this wonderful work. Teachers, I'm urging you once again to grasp the concept and move with it. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. To say something, I'm very surprised that um, no one has responded to Flo's request for a story to be published on the internet. I'm shocked. You have to learn how to market yourself. Make yourself available for people to see. You see, if you are talented and you are hiding in a desert like David, no one will know you. Until your talent is shown to the world, that is the only way you'll be rewarded. So it is an opportunity for Ghana to know you, for the world to know you. Don't do with this. If I were you, I will write the story, give it to a proofreader, so that everything is cock, put it there. I'm sure your picture will be there. You never know who will contact you. In fact, please, don't, don't, let us not take this one lightly. It is one of the best ways to advertise your skill and yourself. You may be getting the call for San Diego, or from anyone you never know. Dr. Deneke Deti has here. Please, let's take advantage of this. Mama, I saw that they knew nothing. Nothing in the sense that they know how to um, read the alphabet, 
but they cannot identify the English alphabet. Uh, I asked them, did they really go to preschool or did, did they really attend preschool? And the answer was no. Uh, unfortunately for them, their mother took them to their grandmother. So the, I don't think the mother herself was interested in her words education. That is what I think. That is what I personally think. So teaching a student or a pupil who doesn't know A, who can't identify B, is like a song to them. A, B, C, D. That is what they know. So in teaching them, it was what a daunting task for me. So what I first did was I looked for a cardboard, wrote the letters on it, and uh, pasted it in their room. So this is what I taught. Every morning when you wake up and you look on your wall, you find A, B, C, D there. But unfortunately for me, it did not work out. So uh, I decided to use what other means. So I wanted to call our brother, Mr. Akoto, to teach the sounds without the letters. And I later realized that when you are teaching the sounds, we have the word graphemes, then we have what the letter names. Sorry, the sounds and the word graphemes. Uh, so I stuck to that. And uh, God be so good. They can now identify the letters, sound them, and also read. The thing is, when I write the sentences to read on the board, I don't speak. I let them read themselves. And now, they can read. They can read. And uh, one, one uh, problem that I have with the speed of reading, but once they are able to read the whole sentence, when you come back the next day for them to read it, that is when they, they show you that they really can read. It's not memorized, but they can really know that this is this word is this and this word is that. So that's my story. Thank you very much. Oh. Story about this, what this um, phonics teaching and the workshop has done in my life. When I started my teaching, I was given a scheme of work and I found phonics in it. I became confused because the meaning of phonics was something difficult to me at that point. I didn't know what is it and I asked my goal of the same worker that what is the meaning of this phonics they are talking about or is it? He said it's about ways, it's about where the sounds and the explanation he gave me wasn't um, the same enough for me. And God willing, I'm um, listening to the grace of God just about three weeks or within the day and I got some feeling in my heart that I should generate something. If the book were here, I'll show it. I should generate something like sounds. To, to generate it like sounds. And when I take A, A can sound A here. When I take table, and the table, A can sound A in table. To do it in that order. So that I'll help the children by. And something happened and I stopped teaching at that point. And when I came back, fortunately, we were invited to a program like this. When I came here, I saw typically that this is what God told me to do. And it's the thing. Typically, what nothing has changed in it. When we are a woman, um, Mr. Akuto is writing the sound, the graphics on it. When the task I did it, when I was doing it on, in my exercise book, after I put everything in it to help the children, but this one has um, listen, caused me to cheat and teach the lesson. Phonics with ease, and it has become very marvelous in my life, and my children have performed it. Uh, we're just going to energize ourselves. So let's kindly of rise. Let me push our chairs into the spaces that we have. So please, let's come out. Feel free. Fill the space. Let's push the chairs. 
into the tables like I think we are not something again. Okay. Please can we all see this? Can we all see? Okay, thank you very much. So I think at the five PDA, Phoenix by four. All these words are the reason why we are here, right? So we are still going to appreciate them. So the first one, we use our hands to write edify, Phoenix by four and PDA. Then we use our waist. That's my favorite part. To write this words. Okay. I think we should change the table. Okay, so that's how we're gonna go. So we, we we go this way. So edify, the first one is in capital letters. So E. So we are Then D. You are telling your, your kids to write their sounds in the AI. Okay. F. Okay, then why? Okay, thank you. So we do the waste, capital.
walk, walk, stop, walk. Okay, so this is the next one. If I say name, you mention your name. If I say clap, you clap. When I say change, if I say clap, you mention your name. If I say name, you clap. So we are doing two in one. So now we are doing the nail clap, but what I talk is different. Please do we get it? What I stop is different. If I say walk, you are stopping. If I say stop, you are walking. However, if I say name, it's your name. If I say clap, you are clapping. Are we putting them together? Yes. Okay, so walk is... Men are confused. Okay, thank you for watching.
Yes. Okay. So now you are changing everything. If I say stop, you are walking. I say walk, stop, clap, name, name, clap, jump. You are dancing, dance, you are jumping. Stop. Don't come to me. <laughs> okay, clap. Jump. Jump. <laughs> stop. Dance.
Father, we thank you this morning. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for life for today. And we want to pray for our teachers. And we want to pray for our students. And that as we go back, we'll be ambassadors of what we have learned. Like Paul said, that we'll commit it to faith, faithful men. And they will also pass it over on to faithful men and women. And we ask that they would live in this principle as they go back. We ask for protection for our specialist kids. We ask that uh, you would help us identify kids that have special needs, not just with disability, but with learning, that will show acts of love that will remain with them the rest of their life. We also want to pray for protection for the kids and through our teachers, that there will be extra vigilant load be observant and make sure they put things in place to protect the child. Even from things that happen from the house, they should they will be able to detect it while they work with the students. Uh, above all things, for the teachers, for the school proprietors, and as they go back and implement all of the things they have learned, but we ask that you give them divine wisdom to find ways to be able to implement them. We ask for um, success for them. We ask that you would bless them financially and also uh, help their families, uh, whatever is in their hearts in terms of career, that you would bring it to pass as they desire your work and work in the schools, Christ-centered schools. You shall also bless them, as you said in Malachi, that in, as we said, you would also bless. And as they said, we ask that you bring your blessings upon them. We thank you for all the things you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Our most profound gratitude goes to the Almighty God in heaven, and we thank him that from the scratch of this very program to today, he has been with us, and then he has given us life, and then he has also given us the knowledge to keep whatever we have been taught here. And then we also want to thank the Defy Ghana, especially the Education Department, um, for helping us with this successful training. And then once again, I also want to thank PDA here, PDA, um, <laughs> with the partner with Identify for also this successful and then impactful training. We thank them and God bless them very well. And then we also want to thank our proprietors. We say I equal to each and every proprietor over here that may God also bless them for also giving us the chance to also come and then keep something in our knowledge to also go and impact to our children. We bless you too. Once again, we also want to thank the teachers here who are all present, that you also dedicated your time and then your effort to strengthen everything. And then we bless you to the good Lord be with you all. And then our facilitator, uh, Mr. Kuto, we also want to thank you very much um, that you've given us a very nice presentation. And then in times of difficulties, whenever you called you, you paid us a very good attention. And then we also bless you. Then we say, may God bless you very well. And then once again, back to Edify, we thank you for investing and then believing in us. And we, the teachers over here, we say thank you and then may God bless you very well. And then we are just saying, continue to believe in us. And then your investment in us will never go in vain. We thank you and then God bless Edify. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.